haven't heard back after the job interview? Should you follow up? If so, when? How often? And what should you say? This is Self Made Millennial. I'm Madeline Mann, and you'll learn all of that and more in this video. If you're new to this channel, welcome. You may have seen me in any of these places as an award-winning career strategist and human resources leader. New videos on Thursdays. These follow-up emails have garnered thousands of success stories, such as for Benjamin, who thought he had lost out on his dream job. He sent the email I will share with you in this video and got a reply in 10 minutes and ultimately landed the job. Heck yes. So I'll walk you through when to follow up, how to follow up, and what the perfect follow up email looks like. Mm. Be sure to stay till the end because I will reveal one approach that is so rare and is guaranteed to make your email stand out among the rest. Why follow up after a job interview? I can't tell you how many times I've been asked, Madeline, won't I sound desperate if I follow up after a job interview? It's actually quite the the opposite one done right. Businesses want eager candidates. Companies want people who want them. By following up, that shows you're proactive and you value the opportunity. Additionally, any team who is hiring, that means that they have more work than they have people. So the follow-up is helpful. They have so many things going on up in their noggin besides your interview process. So you are being like a helpful push notification that helps them to refocus and move the hiring process along. I'm going to show you exactly how to craft a follow-up that makes you sound excited and proactive and not desperate. When should you follow up after a job interview? That depends on a few things. If you're fresh out of the interview, forget the follow up and send a brief thank you email. This email is different than a follow up and both are so important when making the right impression. And so watch this video to learn exactly how to write the best thank you email of your life. I will link it in the comments and in the description. Here are a few rules about when to follow up. First, ask when you can expect to hear back during the interview. This will help you to get an idea of if this is a tortoise or a hare situation. If they are crawling along through several more weeks of first round interviews, or if they're zooming ahead to hopefully close on a candidate this week. Follow up the day after they said they would get back to you. And not sooner, you little jackrabbit. If you didn't establish those expectations in the interview, that's okay. Follow up in five business days. If they're in the middle of scheduling you, such as they asked for when you're available for an interview, you gave them times and then you didn't hear back, do not fret. Their inbox is a jungle. Follow up every 24 hours until you get that bad boy scheduled. How should you follow up after a job interview? Should you call or email? I recommend when in doubt, default to email. These memes hating on voicemail exist for a reason because more and more people vehemently hate phone calls. As the workforce becomes more dominated by generations that grew up around technology, more people are moving away from unscheduled phone calls. However, the key here is to know your audience. How old is the person you're coordinating with? And what industry are they in? Did they call you to schedule the interview? Cater to the employer and follow up with a phone call if that feels like their go-to method of communicating. Now I'm curious, are you a caller or an emailer? Which do you prefer? Comment call or email and I wanna see how it all shakes out. What should you say when following up after a job interview? I will walk you through exactly what to say in your follow-up as well as that tip for being sure to stand out. And I've also created several email templates that you can download to go along with this video to make that so much easier. You'll get additional tips that aren't even in this video, so I will link those in the comments and in the description. There are three elements that make a perfect follow-up. Positivity, brevity, and clarity. Positivity in a follow-up means assuming they think you're peachy and that they're excited to hear from you. So many people will start an email by saying, oh, I must have gotten buried in your inbox. You must be so busy. Okay, you don't need to acknowledge that they have been ignoring you. You know, they know, Google knows, let's not guilt them. Most importantly, don't apologize. I don't wanna see you saying, sorry to bug you. No, cut that out. Think about this follow-up email as a helpful reminder. 
that shows your interest and determination. And why would you ever apologize for that? Which brings me to the next key element, brevity. There is absolutely no need to include too many formalities, sell yourself more, or explain extensively why you're following up. You're overthinking it, partner. And am I the only one who detests the phrase, I hope this email finds you well? What is the wellest an email has ever found you? Let me know in the comments. And then the third element, clarity. Make your email simple and obvious as to what response you're looking for. Here's an example follow-up email you can send after a job interview. I'll share the example and then my tip on how to take this email to the next level to stand out. Hi name, hope you're having a good week. I'm checking in to see when I should expect to hear back about next steps for job title role. Thanks so much, your name. Perfection. Remember, you can find this email template and more in that free download that I've linked below. Now, as promised, here's one more approach my most successful clients have up their sleeve. Set Google News Alerts for the company you're interviewing with and use a recent piece of news to set yourself apart from the sea of follow-ups they may be receiving. Similar to the rest of the email, keep it brief and positive and say something like, I was excited to see the new product line launch yesterday. Very cool work. Okay, this simple action shows sincere interest and I've seen my clients use it as the perfect leg up on other candidates. So be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel. You've got this, Wi-Fi high five. <laughs>